Yeah. Welcome back to the Undisputed Podcast. Although I, I will say, if we do play Dark Souls, it's actually bad for my productivity. Because uh, I've realized Souls-like games, I time. put way too much hours yeah. in them. Like, yes, I was... I have an exam coming up next week. Yeah. I spent 11 hours last night on a Souls-like. Good. I feel like if I do buy Dark Souls, it's going to take a lot of my do, time. Do you want me to rebate you for your performance loss or anything? <laughs> What? What are uh, you going to give me? For every 10 hours I spend Dark Souls, I'll give you a nickel. <laughs> you see my dad, he was annoying today. Did a man give him a nickel? What happened? No, but I ditched work because I stayed up too late playing video but games. But he was simplifying. Like, I remember, he, done it he, he told me, he told me, I can't believe you're so immature, Arjun. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, I agree. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> don't you ever talk oh. to me or my children ever again he walks off leaving the house never to return it is true though this is like a peak of childishness that I've never done in a long time no but time. you haven't done it in except a long time except high school that's because I <laughs> probably know, high school was the last time I did actually were a child no but now you finally learned the true meaning of video gaming it is the ability to immerse yourself in a world anyway that's, that's all I don't have anything else to say. Anyway, welcome back to on this podcast. Today we're going to determine if... Right, everyone left without uh, telling me. Um, oh. Okay, we're going to determine, am I the asshole? Dark Souls 3 Deluxe Edition is even more expensive than Elden Ring. I appreciate that. So It's $120. Jesus Christ. No game should be cost that much, no sir. Anyway, what the uh, fuck? Are they selling? Okay, they're selling Dark Souls 3 and the Season Pass. Wait, what's the Steam and, pass? And it says, Steam's, Steam's buy, Steam is saying that the, the saving I make of this package is 95 cents if I were to buy them separately. What's the season pass? Wait, what? Wait. Dark Souls 3 apparently has DLC. I didn't know. Why does it have a season pass? What does that mean? What does that mean? What take an anarchist note? Okay, one of their DLC is mixed and the other one is very positive. Okay. Okay, anyway... Well, I hate DLC. I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Uh, like, do you have your gavel near you by any chance? Uh, yes. So we need oh. to make the rulings on am I an asshole official? I forgot yes. to do that. Last okay, time. Yep, I'll probably William, did you watch the clip I sent you? Uh, no. It's from The Onion, isn't it? I want. No, 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 no. I want oh. you to watch that clip right now, and then right we now. can do this because it it is very relevant. I was watching this and I was like, oh my god, what That's the him. hell? It's like deja vu. Watch it. Okay, I'll watch it right now. Okay, that's a little psychopathic from YouTube Shorts. I did not know you watch Shorts, Arjun. Only I thought only childless weirdos. From a podcast I like. Okay, I thought only childless weirdos watch Shorts. Well, I am childless. Yeah, you are a weirdo, so I guess that's correct. That's just insulting. <laughs> that's defamation. Can I sue you? Can I see you try? Is it, is it in the public? Yes. You're here. Hmm. Am I the public? You, you can't. Now. You're a public with an okay. A. You're a little student, I would question it. Okay. Anyway, thanks for that clip, Arjun. You sicko. Anyway, it applies to you. It applies to you. You these. are that psychopath. I don't make these. You I, are the psychopath. I don't make these. All I said to you last you, time, I read the you, headline. That's what you. No, 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 I no, no. You're back. Then I well, story. Yesterday, but I'm not yesterday. Whenever we were doing this, didn't he say he made up like half of it? Kind of. I read made a little. I skimmed it. Then I. Then you I are the psychopath. <laughs> that's you. No, they're the psychopath. I'm not a psychopath, I'm a sociopath. <laughs> anyway, next first one. Are you ready, kids? So, so oh, what, what, you make these rulings official. Um, for to make a decision, they need two thirds majority, okay? Okay. So, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for banning my son from going to a men's gym? So, my son's 16 year old, years old, he never likes sports. However, he wants to do an MMA gym, right? Okay. And, and there's men here. Unfortunately, uh,. Oh, he's now been saying a bit of problematic stuff thanks to being around like some misogynistic men at this gym. Uh. 
and uh, he, he may or may not be a, a, an asshole. So I Ooh. banned him from going to this game, and then he threw a teenage tantrum, which is my new favorite Katy Perry single. But uh, <laughs> and he's still upset. So, Arjun, am I the asshole for not letting my son go? Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the this article by Clayton Oots. YouTubers proposed defamation defenses knocked down by parliamentary privilege. <laughs> okay. And this is about Barry Lara and Mr. Shanks. Oh, okay. Mr. Shanks is my favorite deputy premier. But uh, so I'll read Jordan that. Shanks, Mara Kavino. Thank you. Arjun, you want to hear the scenario or will you just ignore it again? No, I'll listen, I'll listen, I'll listen. Am I the asshole for banning my son from going to a men's gym? So my son did not like sports, but he does like MMA. Um, and then he found a men's only gym. And unfortunately, yeah. that gym may or may not have been giving him a lot of sexist attitudes. And uh, <laughs> he's been saying a bit of misogynistic stuff or something. So I, I forbidden him from going to that gym. Then he threw a teenage tantrum. Am I the asshole? I don't think he's been in a gym. Just been... I think I think I think it's the same even in a men and why do you think some gyms that are co-ed have a woman's only room? I think that, uh, I think this is a men's only room for this one. Anyway, so uh, you said it's a men only gym. Uh, yeah, I did say that. Anyway, so is this guy the ass? Who's am I the ass? I'm the parent here. I mean, yeah. I mean, if he's trying to stop this kid from being a misogynist, yeah, I guess he's not an asshole. Yeah, I'm gonna say not yeah, an I'm, asshole. I'm gonna say not at all. Were you all in order, Warwick? All right. N- not an asshole. <laughs> Thank you. I can only bring Minecraft Creeper attack if I'm so distracted. Uh. <laughs> This whole subreddit is I did something rude. Yeah, am I someone the who hates something? I'm, I'm laughing. Am I the asshole? On the on the advertising. <laughs> it's like it's like I I I I honestly wouldn't find it weird if someone said, "Uh, I threw a snowball at Adolf Hitler." Am I the asshole? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> no, the only one I know the advertisement on the bottom. It is Mosh is helping thirty thousand guys like William treat air loss. Oi, you <laughs> bastard! I feel targeted. And not in a good way. I've had, I've had Wait, you're balding? I have no idea if I am. This advertisement thinks I am. <laughs> Wait, okay. Uh, you know what? Just realize the SPG I've gotten local. so many ads about ED. It's not even funny. You keep saying I that. That's... You need to stop. The more you say, the I, more I'll keep sending it to you. I honestly feel like that's why I'm into lesbian porn now. Because I'm eventually <laughs> going to hit into ED. <laughs> uh, I... I Oh, dude, uh, if, if, okay, out of all four of us, I think you're the one who will gracefully bold. I, I, no way. I'm not balding. Have you seen my family's I jeans? Gra- no, Their like hair is size. great. Your mother's hair is still thick. My m- bold. Yeah, it is thick. Christ. Both sides of my family has really thick hair, so it's fine. Okay, sure, that's what they all say. I'm not but- worried at all, but... I am worried about ED because my mom does not have a penis. <laughs> Your mom has a no. uh, so I don't know. <laughs> I doubt that's from your mother's side, sir. Um, I don't know. Next one. Jesus Christ. Anyway, uh, sorry, I was distracted by the headline. No, I'm not, I'm not going to read context. I'm just going to read you the headline, okay? Am I the asshole for sabotaging my co-worker? Huh. I don't know, some Ow. people like being sabotaged. <laughs> Is it like their fetish? No, because then they can suck up to the boss. Oh. You're tempting me, mate. The office is a playpen of power. Uh, are, are you saying it's a cesspit of, of uh, anarchy? I don't call it a cesspit, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta sound emotionally engaging, Arjun. It's, like it's like the high school playground. That's basically what I what I would call like it. That's all it is. It's a playground. Yeah, an off the, the office, office situation. Okay. I, I, I can't speak for like head offices and like vice presidents and stuff like An that. Head but office. just like a regular office. Yeah, it's like a it's like a playground. Well, you isn't know? that just because when you give anyone free there time, are clicks and you just it's make sure you're, you're nice to all of nature, them. Though. No, I'm not. Don't humans naturally? There could be form... some offices where everyone is nice to but each other. I naturally don't know. form shitty cliques and and dickheads. They they naturally okay. get charged. William, what? Am I the asshole? Are you a realist now? 
I am whatever I am. That, that sounds realistic to me. <laughs> realism is that what you reality. call it? No. Yeah, realitism. realitism. I don't know. I am now an idealist. I've changed my mind. I, I, I People am a can be happy. No. Um, I believe in utopias. Good on Utopia you. is possible. Good on you. Uh, next one. So, guys, am I the asshole for, com- for complaining to my husband that I'm suffering from pregnancy pains? No. Yeah, I'm going to say no. No, of course not. Actually, okay. you know what? Yeah. I, I, I think it's hilarious. You know, just swap to you. I think it's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, I'm imagining it now. I'm imagining it now. You know, like, husband. some couples find it cute that, like, the baby kicks the stomach? Yeah. I like to think there's this one couple where the lady just yells at the the uh, father and says, you know, you sick <laughs> bastard, it's all your fault that I'm being assaulted on a daily basis. Jesus Christ. Um... Which is true. <laughs> okay. I anyway, wonder, can you sue a baby for assault if they <laughs> kick you? Uh, as a baby, in in well, Arjun, now you just added a new facet to the I'm very and interested. You sue a yeah. <laughs> no, Danny, well, I, I think Australia follows a similar thing to US, where you can sue for any reason, but if you win, the court will just the, laugh. Yeah, you won't yeah. get awarded any damages. Because Media Watch, they they technically got the the fame, but the judge said there was no damages from the defamation, so he did not award <laughs> anything. <laughs> Which is really yeah, good for me. Australia is weird. Australia, you can sue for any reason, but you don't get any of the monetary that's gains you would said. get in the US. Oh, wait, yeah. Okay, I was in. <laughs> Alright, so that's two-thirds to say not arsehole? Yeah, so, I'm gonna say not I was arsehole. reading about medical malpractice, and that's quick, sad. Quick, bring the gavel, you bastard. Alright, yep, not an arsehole. Thank you. Alright, what about medical malpractice <sighs> and the fact that doctors in the US get sued a fluffing ton? Yeah, but at least there they get so much money that it makes it worth it to sue someone for medical malpractice. Yeah. Here, even if it is a right reason to sue, you usually just break even. Good. That's Between fine. legal costs and uh, the, yeah, but then you gain nothing. That's, They're not going to go to prison. Yeah. But, yeah. You you sue for medical malpractice you because you register, believe you're owed damages. You can get them out the register if that helps. If no, I think that I think that doesn't happen just because you sue for medical malpractice. Really, that has no. to be something that the the registry board, whoever registers yeah. the licenses yeah. to be a doctor, and they only do that if another physician says that you are an oh, issue Arjun, or that you just about had this. so many malpractices. And in South Australia, there was this optometrist, uh, Specsavers, who just kept modifying prescriptions. <laughs> he just kept modifying prescriptions. So for like four hundred and thirty-two people. Was- they got the wrong prescription intentionally. Well, so this, this person that had 2050 vision saying, mm, actually no, 2060 yeah. vision. And the most concerning concern is that only 92 of those 400 people actually returned their glasses. Uh, oh. That's the weird, that's the concerning statistic. Well, so people didn't notice that the yeah. glasses were Apparently the wrong he did, he changed the prescription to undermine his business partner's confidence. Yeah. What? It's a bit of a dickhead. Wow. Well, that doesn't make, how does make, that like, make they're sense? They're like they co-owned the, the franchise or something, the Specsavers there. If she quit, he gets all the yeah. ownership. Oh. That, that's she, stupid, she, though. What do you mean? It nearly worked, but then she... If people, if people don't like... Think that you're giving the wrong position, wouldn't they just go to a different place? No, no, but she also lost confidence in herself. She's like, oh, wow, I'm making so many mistakes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move to... I'm gonna do a less hard job. Next one. Next, am I the asshole? Am I the asshole for telling an autistic person I'm not their friend? Uh, no. Technically, uh, that's the truth. If they're yep. if they're so the guy's if they're yeah. really not your friend, then yeah, there's you're not. I'm gonna say not the asshole. A bit Just insensitive. because they're autistic, yeah, yeah, I mean, doesn't mean that. anything like, you do to them becomes yeah, yeah, horrible. Yeah, yeah, they, they, they don't have a top blanche <laughs> reason to be the, your friend. No, so I'm I mean, gonna. It's, the truth is the truth. Yeah, it, it, it may hurt. It may hurt. I'll accept that. But yeah. I will say not an asshole. I'm gonna. I also say not an asshole. Oh, we should be friends. I don't what you think. It's going to be hilarious if the context is completely different. Oh, well, yeah, let's get the context before we make yeah, a yeah, full judgment. Yeah, yeah, context. So, give me a second. I'm currently fighting a creeper man. Uh, anyway, so I'm currently 24. Wait, that's not that's not relevant. The next meeting, <laughs> I would say I was 18 when I met a guy. That's... You bastard. Oh, I was 18 when I had my 18th birth. Jesus Christ. Anyway, so this guy's 18 <laughs> years old. Uh, I, no, community college. So, you know, vocational education or something. Um... 
give me a second. So in his class, there's apparently this person who has autism or something. Uh, oh, he added the guy on Facebook, and they message and chat a bit on Facebook. So they're technically Facebook friends. Yeah. How about the guy, the OP? He lost his Facebook um, account details, so he cannot access the account until he recovered it uh, one month ago. And he found out that the autistic guy has been messaging him once or twice every day. So basically me. No, uh... Oh. I'll read more. Uh, including, like, random drawings he drew, telling about the cool things he bought, and messages saying that we are the best bros, we should hang out more. Oh. That's creepy. Oh my god, this isn't just... Oh, he did this over six years. Years, yeah, not six months. Years. Oh, this makes it sound okay. Fiction. I want to be clear. This makes it sound like a lot of fiction, but uh, but then I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> so apparently he messaged the guy. So oh, he blocked him on Facebook, and then Ooh. the so they never met. No, they did meet once in community college. Ah, uh, or oh, not okay. once. They sat next to each other in community college class. I don't know how long those last, but I'm gonna assume ten weeks. Uh, is my guess. Um. Yeah. Oh, after he blocked him, the alleged autistic guy sent a threatening message to the original poster's mother, apparently. Oh. Alright, now he's an asshole. Now yeah. it's now whatever happens is stupid to talk about. And the minute you cross that line, you've messed up. Yeah, so I'm gonna say the OP is not an asshole. However, I also don't believe the story. Although I will say, although I... Yeah, first the story sounds yeah. so fake. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And second... They're both dumb. Like, what? I feel like it's his fault for not beating around the bush. If you don't want a friendship with someone, just say. He didn't have for six years, though. Oh. Okay, then <laughs> when did he tell him that he's not his friend? Six years. You said so... he just blocked him. Yeah, blocked him. Yeah, he just blocked him, I think. So he did beat How him do you block him. someone if you don't have the account? No, he, he got his account back. He just uh, he found out that the guy's been messaging him every day. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, are you accusing him of lying? This sounds like some Redditor's wet dream to be I, so I don't believe the story to someone. I, I don't believe the story is real. Um, but um, what are you gonna I'm, say next? I'm saying he's not an asshole. <laughs> His <laughs> neighbor is like a ten out of ten hot girl who won't leave him alone. Well, we That's his that next post. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Two thirds. Let's go. So, not an asshole. Arjun, it's also unanimous though. It wasn't a two foot. It was unanimous. Oh, yeah. Unanimous. OP wasn't an asshole. He just didn't beat it. He just beat around the bush, unfortunately. Yeah, not an asshole. Good. We have decreed it. Okay, next one. Am I the asshole for not sharing my notes? No. Context. Well, well I, I, I kind of, technically, it doesn't seem like you own though. the copyright. Yeah, when yeah. I when I was in high school, sure, I would have said you're an asshole. In university, that's the last fucking thing I'm going to do. I don't care how much I've talked to you, how many jokes I've told you, there is no fucking way in hell I'm giving you the notes that I have to stay up hours to write for. What if I say We please? have the same resources. You just have to listen to the video and write notes. Arden, what if I Fuck say please? no. I don't give a shit. I'm not Arden, doing. I'm your it. buddy. Remember, remember back in Nam. Remember how? Remember Joey. Remember little little Lipset and the, and the and the five bobs. Remember that margin. The good old days. <laughs> Look, remember? if my friends want to go to a bar, sure, I'll go to a bar. Where, where I, I a never do anything study related. That's my. That's the last reason. Where if I give you a bar, Sergeant? Study is a solo thing, even when it's a group task. Oh, no, you I expect you I, I to do it on your study. own. Group study is just socialization to me. I don't believe in it. William, we've done group study. What do you want about? And have we gotten anywhere? No. It was for HSC. And we remember? didn't get anywhere. <laughs> we were laughing in a quiet library. For like an hour, we did papers yeah. at the top, and then we left. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we achieved I nothing. brought so many papers to hoping that we would do it there. I, I just ended home. up having to go home and had to do all that shit on my own. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, next one. Am oh. I, so I'm taking art history and we have a test tomorrow. You brought up a sad memory. <laughs> anyway, we're, I'm doing art history and we have a test tomorrow. Um, and a friend, You're doing art history. I'm, I'm doing art history. And a friend sent me a, a text oh, message. Oh, the poster, the poster. Said, I thought you were talking we about you. Study. He told me he sent me... A couple of study guides, which is very nice. I didn't even ask him for it, so I said, "Oh, thanks, mate. Cheers." 
However, this morning, a couple hours before the test, he told me he sent me his Google Doc study guide because he wanted me to add notes to it about a specific topic, about okay. masks and stuff. I said, I'll see what I've written down. And I thanked him again. I studied a little bit, but I didn't really add anything to his study guide. Um, other than what we already had in class. Um, after the test, he told me he thought I was going to add some notes to it, but I didn't. And he said, I shared all my notes with you, and you didn't add anything to it. Um, so he was quite angry. Uh, and I told him, oh, sorry, I, uh, I didn't know. Or something. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, basically. So did the person just give the document oh, to the OP? Just did the person just give the document to the OP? He just, he just tried to uh, rope him into a favor. But you know what the OP should have done? <laughs> Which would have been more funnier. He should have told him, I haven't looked at your notes. I got notes from the smartest kid in the class. I killed the smartest <laughs> kid in the class. That'd be funny. So so the guys now, so their, their relationship's a bit fractured now. Is the OP an asshole? I'm going to say no. I, I don't think it was made obvious that he had to contribute. Yeah. No, I don't yeah. think so. Yep. Uh, yep. That's. Yeah, Arjun, will you, will you stand by? Time to get lost. Get lost. That's all. All right, Arjun, you, you're, your reason that he's not an asshole is because you, you, could, you refuse to do, to do collaborative stuff like that, yeah. I wouldn't do anything, bro. I would just, I wouldn't even look at his notes. A guy who's so eager to share his notes with me can only mean one thing. Either he doesn't know what he wrote, or else it just has nothing in it. That's the only reason why people share their notes so basically, easily. Yeah. yeah, basically. People who know they have good notes will okay, never yeah, share correct. them. It's like their goal. Right. No, 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 no. yeah, you only share if you have a deficit of notes. You, you don't share if you have too like, much. Honestly, you ask a smart kid in a class through Discord about a question, they won't send notes. They'll send you like this two-sentence explanation. Send and then the hope that appeases you and sends you off. I've seen lecturers just tell them refer to lecture slides <laughs> on, on, on the discussion boards. Uh, hey, I'm smarter than most of them. I look up the textbook references. Jesus Christ, you have no life. No, uh... And it's no use, and it's useless. I don't know why they You should trust the author, though. Some... The author has spent so much time compiling all this that's, information. That's, that's you not go the, to the issue. Original, you bastard. That's not the issue. I look at the lecture notes, and they say, ooh, reference up here, here. And I'm like, you know what? They're probably going to put an exam question. I'm calling the bluff straight from the textbook. And every time I read the textbook, I never find an exam question in the exam. From it. It's just uh, uh, useless yet, extra information still, in my head. Try, Arjun, and yet you still try, I still try. I'm waiting. One of these days, I'll call One the bluff. Days, and that day, One of these days. And that day, off. when that day succeeds, I, I don't know. I'll just Will go to a laughing? bar and I'll drink to my success. Alone. That's what in I'll do. Corner. Alone. Crying. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I like going to bars alone. I don't you like sit going in the corner alone. I sit in the stool. In the stool. Fun. Jesus Christ. Yeah. <laughs> it, no, but underneath the stool. In uh, what little space there is cool. underneath no, the stool? No, that is cool. You guys, you guys can't lie. That's cool. Yeah. Oh Christ. Okay, so not an asshole. Yeah, I don't think he's an asshole for not showing those. The things. shop. The shop. Or the mall opposite Macquarie Uni. Christ. There's what a there's a liquor shop people? there that's going out of st uh, like out shop. of no. out of stock or like they're closing the shop, so they're selling beer for really cheap. They're Can selling like crates of Sapporo beer. Can I have some? Wait, did you say Sapporo? I didn't beer? buy any. Sapporo. Oh, okay, good. Here, have some Sapporo beer. <laughs> Sapporo <laughs> Asahi. International imports, not so only Japanese beer, or yeah, it's dude. That's all Macquarie Park. It's all Asian. Say Oporo beer. Asahi. No. Super sake sake say no. Uh, <laughs> that's you racist. Say. But all right. Next, go to next. Am I uh, horny? Or whatever. I, am, I don't the, know. The, the, hold on. The the SVGSN William of the yeah. newspaper logo I made. Yeah. It turns out they went to funk. 30 years, 39 years ago today. Here, here. So 39 years after we went to the front domain and SVG logo. For very smart, very smart. Next one. Am I the asshole for reporting a McDonald's worker with Down syndrome? 
the context. I'm not gonna. I'm actually gonna read what's written down. Okay. Yep. So I am 23. Wait, I work late night. You can report. Is there a Down syndrome at board? <laughs> Australia, okay. Down syndrome Australia. No, I am 23 years old. I work like nights and everything. Why closed. did you name your age? What the hell? I, you I, can report I, at any age. Oh, this guy I can report someone at the age of 10. You're not 23 yet, so you can't name anyone. Anyway, uh, so I like to grab some fries sometimes. We all do. Everyone, everyone likes you know, visiting McDonald's at 10 p.m. or 12 a.m. or 2 a.m. We all do that one time. I'll, I'll find more than fries. Yeah, oh, fair enough, Dinkum. Uh, about five months ago, a new guy, let's call him James, started working nights. James has Down syndrome and is a 22-year-old college student. Good on him. He's in graphic design. Good on him. And we started chatting. And now uh, this is the number one mistake. You never chat after McDonald's guy. Uh, their turnover is too high that next week you go, they're not there anymore. Yeah. Uh, three days ago, when I stopped by McDonald's, I noticed James was... My McDonald's guy. guy has been there for like three years. What are you on about? Wow. I, I don't I, think I've ever seen the same person working at McDonald's I, I hope he's once a in my life. Arthur, I, I don't know. Arthur, we're three years in. He's probably like the owner of the bloody location. <laughs> I've never <laughs> asked his name. Do you know how much a Macca's franchise is worth, bro? I, it's like millions. Millions? That's not too surprising. Yeah, it's super expensive. Because Ma uh, McDonald's, like, as a franchise, they give more profit to the people who buy these places yeah. than other fast food places. That's cool. You should, I, I mean, that should be your method of... of, of like, other money. places just allow you to break even, or maybe get a bit more, so depending saying, on I how just, many people come. I think I should tear down those housing and build a McDonald's. Well, I don't know about that, but I just know that Macca's owners earn a lot of money. Anyway, James asked me while I was at McDonald's, stopped at the stand, and he asked me, quote, have you ever had sex, end quote. I asked, what did you mean? He said... Sometimes you just see boobs, and then turn and did the boob grabbing motion. Two cars pulled him, and I quickly told him that. Yeah, let's uh, not do that. I him. just went onto the website. This is what they say. This is what's in the minimum for yeah. franchise opportunity uh, things. You're able to make a significant financial investment, upwards of one and a half million dollars encumbered funds. Surely, a cocaine. Yeah, I told you it's expensive. Profitable. No. Uh, what? Nothing. A cocaine shop. Anyway, so... Dude, cocaine is the most profitable drug. Anyway, next week... Most profitable substance in the world, Next day, I, I was a bit worried. So, you know, I, I, I was thinking, if he ever did that to a woman, if he ever groped a woman, I would report him. I know his... I know the boss of the McDonald's. His name is Mike, and he's from the church. And Mike's daughter also has Down syndrome, because everyone does, I guess. So Mike is understanding, but he doesn't let, you know, sexual... Down syndrome, something you get for free. I'd like a table across now. Jesus Christ, Archie, you and I <laughs> are one of the most hire... insensitive oh. assholes in Australia. Now. Oh. Oh. oh, do they only hire people with Down syndrome? If that's the case, that's, that's good on them. Cool. That's that's, that's cool. great. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, just the amount. Like, <laughs> how many people have you met with Down syndrome in your life? Like, no. even counting, I can't even think of one person. Oh, um... I mean, that could just of, mean I'm a really lonely person, of. but I, 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 even, like, walking down the yeah. street, I can't think of anyone with autistic, like, yeah. you know how, like, they have, like, like certain facial structures? Oh, God, this is, like... I, I can't even remember that no. many people I've seen walking on the street. Maybe, maybe So, one, I don't it, know. I don't know, I don't know what the guy had, but maybe Down syndrome... I just... They, the they, this is way too common. Yeah. I, unless they're specifically hiring people with Down syndrome. Random. Anyway, next stuff. one. Uh, so I met Mike at McDonald's the next day, and, and I told him, I don't think I don't think James has you know groped any person yet, but but I'm scared that he will. And Mike said, I'll have a conversation with James. And um, Jane. James. So Mike said, I oh. won't fire James over this. He's not in trouble. And now today, I told my mother about this because she knows James from day shifts because. She works at McDonald's as well. I don't know. But she knows James from day This is like some family calling. They all work at McDonald's. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, like, it's like the US military. Your parents worked in the army. You'll go in the army. <laughs> the, the, they're, they're Macca veterans for like three centuries. <laughs> they got little service medals. Like a little cheeseburger medal or something. Um, yeah. So. The, the exchange, they work at Macca's in like yeah. Ethiopia or somewhere. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you're being deployed all overseas to McDonald's. 
No. <laughs> no. My mom McDonald's <laughs> Japan needs some help. <laughs> They're currently in a French fry shortage. Commander in chief, McDonald's. The damn no. French. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm tempted to write a fanfiction no, now. There's a lot of ideas getting, going in my head. This story's getting even more <laughs> outlandish. My mother yeah. drunkenly on the phone told my aunt about this, and my aunt got pissed because her little cousin also has Down syndrome. <laughs> and my god, <laughs> uncle. I'm like, telling you, what the hell? Are they in an, is it, isn't really Down syndrome like, like a really I rare want thing? less than 1%. What the hell? I uh, know. Here's the best part, though. His, her, yeah. the aunt and uncle also wanted to adopt another baby with Down syndrome, so she called a McDonald's, yelling at for, uh, yelling at them and reporting James, and James probably lost his job. <laughs> Cry. Wait, uh, is this in? Is this in like country Alabama? <laughs> yes, obviously. It's like <laughs> one in five hundred people. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And people scream for Down syndrome. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, am so, I the asshole? What the hell? Am I the asshole? Or, oh, but there's no, we're not allowed to add a new fictional rating, but we can determine if the story is fiction or not. <laughs> but that's hmm. I- I- irrelevant to am I the asshole. I'm going to say the guy's not an asshole. One, he didn't report James. His aunt did. Yeah. Which is... Where did you get the time to do this sort of thing, though? Like... She reported a worker at a McDonald's she'd probably never been to. Yeah. Wait. This sounds like fanfic. Anyway, That's I'm gonna write non asshole. I'm gonna write non asshole as well. Arjun? You know what? You should write a comment below saying this is the first fanfic I've seen with people in Dallas. I'm gonna get downvoted to hell, though. But it is true. It's what everyone's thinking. <laughs> it doesn't sound real. Like, even if I did say, like, who is that bothered to report someone? Yeah. Anyway, when they're so think, far away from it. You think the guy's an asshole or not? So why can't it's like it's like me saying that people in Africa are <laughs> like being hurt by like you know African gangs, and then the one person I told that to goes to Africa and fights gangs. Like what the <laughs> hell? It's like it's like something you say, and they say, "Oh, that's horrible." <laughs> they don't go and combat it. What the hell? What if your friend is Rambo? Anyway, do you think he's an asshole or not? The OP? Is he an asshole or not? I don't know. He's an asshole if it is fan fiction. <laughs> 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 because if you're willing to write this for Reddit karma, no matter what anyone says, you're an asshole. Okay, Arjun, is, is the OP an asshole, though, for, for telling this to his mother, who then told it to his aunt, who then reported it to McDonald's? No, it's screwed. I'm saying he's an asshole just okay. for making up this whole story no, you can't about Down it on syndrome. Truth. We're not allowed to rate it on truth. We can determine it outside of that. Yeah, but this one's pissing me off. The other one's okay, fine, fine because well, it's something like someone chasing me. But this is like actively using people with Down syndrome okay, for Reddit I get what you mean. Tugging heartstrings in a, in a disingenuous way. It's not tugging my heartstrings. It's annoying. Okay, it's stupid. It's and it's sad and pathetic. Okay. Well, like bang the gavel. Not an asshole. Not an asshole. Thank you. Next one. Am I an asshole for being blamed? Sorry. For being blamed for physics. That's a weird title. Blamed for physics? So let's call myself Mikhail. What did you do? Hit someone? <laughs> so I am Mikhail. I, I, I started the motion, but gravity really helped me. It was <laughs> gravity's fault. When I shot the gun, I, I, I didn't think the bullet would keep going. <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> anyway. It's just um, a joke. It was supposed to just bounce off. <laughs> let, let me start. So let, let's call the OP Mikhail. Mikhail, okay. Or Mikhail, if you're a stupid idiot. Anyway, Mikhail. Uh, he, he's, he's a string bass player in the high school or- orchestra, which Americans have. I never seen an Australian school for school orchestra because no one can afford it. So I'm not the tallest person. I'm five foot eight, which is 170, I think. 176. Oh, gosh. Five, five foot eight is really tall, isn't it? Uh, how tall is That's that? That's the average Australian male height. 172. Oh, I'm five foot eight? Yeah, sure. Uh, I thought I was like just barely five foot. <laughs> Because six foot uh, people are like basketball players, right? Oh, sorry, it's not the average of trainers. It's three centimeters below average now. But uh, what I would say, Arjun, if you are five foot, I'm pretty sure that, that you're legally allowed to be thrown around by men taller than you. Anyway. Um... No, that's not how it works. <laughs> you have to give permission. There's no law saying you're allowed to toss people who are short. It's just if people who are short don't mind you tossing them, then you can toss them. Why do they assume consent?
No? You okay, Arjun? No? <laughs> Buster? No, Arjun. Lil Wayne? G-Shock? Anyway, let's go to the story. Uh, <laughs> I like the story now. Anyway, um... So I'm, my, my name is Mikhail. That's a made up name, by the way. I did not. That's not in the story. I just liked the name Mikhail. Uh, and and there's another bass player in the in the orchestra. His name is Alex. Alex is shorter than me. He's around five foot tall, which is you know um one. That's not one. It can't be one fifty, right? Five foot tall. Wait, it is one fifty. Okay, that's quite short actually. Huh. Wait, but these are high schoolers, so these guys may not have, you know, puberty or whatever the kids call it now. Yeah. So, Alex is shorter than me, and he hated when he walked into the orchestra room, because the chair is a lot taller than um other chairs. Oh no, oh, my, my chair is a lot, wait. I don't get it though. Why? Why would the tall guy's chair be higher than the shorter guy's chair? Yeah. I, I don't get it. Anyway, now we cut to current day. It's the end of school day. As I try to lower my chair to not piss them off in the morning. Wait, I don't get why. <clears throat> I'm don't back. Get, I'm back. I don't get why his chair would be taller though. He's taller. Therefore, he should get the lower chair. No. All right. So apparently, my name is Mikhail. I'm in a high school orchestra. And my friend Alex, he's in the orchestra with me. And he's only five foot tall, one fifty two. And he hated. Oh uh, yeah, he... I forgot. There was a height limit on people who can join the orchestra. Really? Screw them, dwarfs! I forgot. No, I'm being sarcastic. Oh, I can't tell. What the hell? I, I have never heard any height based rule on the orchestra. I've never heard of a high school orchestra in Australia, you just, though. You just need to be able to play an instrument. That's correct. And you need to play it well. That that is the only requirement. Anyway, so I'm Alex... the weird guy with the stick. I've heard that's the conductor. Anyway, and he has a baton. No, he has a baton. No, it's Maestro. Maestro, sorry. Uh they oh. hate it. They hate it when they walk called a conductor, by the way. I'm not I'm not the He's a maestro. I'm not I'm not going in deference to you, Arjun. Look up. No, conductor. he is maestro. Look up conductor. You go outside. They call them maestro. I call you a maestro. Anyway. Um give me a second. Maestro these nuts. Anyway, um, so I have to. So my chair is a lot higher than the other chairs because I'm taller. Yes. Okay. Maybe it has something to do with playing, playing the bass. So, however, apparently Alex gets pissed off whenever he sees a chair taller because he's quite short. He's only one fifty two. I'm one seventy two. So at the end of the day, as I try to lower my chair to not piss off everyone in the morning. I accidentally pulled the lever to lower the lever to lower the chair, but the chair goes up because I wasn't putting my weight on it. So Alex walks in the room, looks at me, and screams. Everyone in the room looks at me and stares. Apparently, I worked in fast food and I'm used to people yelling at me, so I just sit there socially drained. I was about to say something. The bells <laughs> bell rings. Am I the asshole? <laughs> I don't think this story is real. Anyway, uh, not an asshole. This is bullshit, bro. What the hell I'm is that? Not an asshole. Work, what do you think? Not an I, I, I got distracted by this. So some browsing red as well. It's looking random. Okay, but let's just say not an asshole. Just, yeah. I have nice. never met someone so bothered by height. Yeah, I think that works really good. I never see anyone so bothered they'll scream. I... I don't think the story's real. Anyway, Arjun, yeah. do you think do you think do you think that he's an asshole with OP? We don't care if the story's yeah. real. Not an asshole? He's an asshole? Yeah. He's an asshole. He's a total asshole. You can't base it on the merits of whether it's real or not. We have to assume they're real. <laughs> <laughs> we have to assume they're real. Sorry, I was watching the video there while he went up. I like that he made no attempt <laughs> as it flew. Like bounce around, jump a little bit. <laughs> I would have been, it would have been funnier if they threw like a coke, like <laughs> at the door. That would have been funny. Oh would my have god! Someone. No. Oh my god. Okay, next one. Okay. Yeah. No. How? How could he? He's an asshole for raising his chair. <laughs> he could have just swapped the chairs, couldn't he? Well, no, but he's tall. Therefore, he needs to raise his chair to play the bass. 
What? The, the bass is a tall Isn't instrument. Isn't the bass like... It's a tall instrument. The bass, I, the cello. Am I confused with what No, not the a bass, bass guitar. The ba double bass or something. They're tall. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I, I don't understand why he has to Is it too character. fake for me to write? Okay, Wyke, well, where do you think? Uh... Anyway, I say you're an asshole. Bang the gavel, bang the gavel. No, I've got something. the button something. on the table, Nikki. Bang the gavel! No. No, 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 Thank you. So, next one. Oh, this one's real, okay? This one says WhatsApp, therefore it's real, okay? Am no. I the asshole for not being... For not wanting to be part of my, my works WhatsApp group chat? So, I just got a job at a coffee shop, and my manager told me to message him on WhatsApp so he can add me, add me to the work group chat. I use work WhatsApp to chat with my international friends, so it's a bit of a special thing to me. It's like a fresh, a, a breath of fresh air. You know, I don't associate it with work and stuff. And I like to keep my personal life separate from my work life, fair enough. And I also post a lot on WhatsApp, and I change my profile pic and update my bio very frequently. I don't want my workmate seeing this. Am I wrong? Yes, you're an asshole. Just make another account, you dickhead. Uh, Doesn't WhatsApp go with phone number? No, WhatsApp goes phone with phone number. number. Get another phone number, you dickhead. No, the issue is... The issue number. is... There's, there's, two, there's a big issue. Number one, you work anywhere, and that's how they work. When I worked for Taco Bell, it was a WhatsApp group chat. That's how it is. I number can't, two, can't have a phone number. what is the big issue? Your group chat and your personal chats aren't going to merge one day, and there, it's going to be like this no, coliseum no, you, no, of your a, friends and your work. It's a psychological thing, though. It's like how I use Google Docs for personal projects, Microsoft Word for uni and other projects. It's so like, what? All they're seeing is your bio. Unless you're putting your like credit card details, crazy shit in what? there I think that's way be. too personal. Get a new phone. I No, I think I, she is being unrealistic. I think just get a new phone number. Easy. You have a two WhatsApp account. Easy. No, uh, I don't. I I think she's the asshole. She's I the really asshole. do. Like, what, what do you think? I think an asshole. Because the knows. manager is only trying to get some yeah, way where he can you know, organize like everyone easily. Someone can't say oh, I That's don't all he's that. trying to do. Yeah, trying to be a good I think manager. She, I think she's yeah. I think she is the asshole. Like, what do you she think? has a totally stupid reason. But I don't. I sympathize. I just don't. I think. It's easy. I don't. I've never felt that way. That doesn't make sense to me. What about, My chats are different from whatever that's going to be. What when I had WhatsApp, work... I had friends. Yeah, sorry. Jesus Christ. What, what if the workplace work? gets slack? Well, or like you want them to change the whole workplace. Everyone there, just because this person doesn't want to use WhatsApp. No. Wait, what did you say? Slack. 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 Isn't yeah, that like a workplace? No, I know what slack is. But that's not the issue. There's only one reason. Why they use WhatsApp group? It's the easiest way to people uh, reach people. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number yeah. two, um, and it's only used for one thing, which is, hey, uh, we have this shift open because people couldn't make it. Can you come? Yeah. That's the only thing they'll ask. Or uh, whoever's lost, like, can no you clean this machine? No one will notice all. your bio or profile pic change. No one. No one cares no enough one. to go through a list of like. Do you know how many people work in fast food? It's like at one restaurant, there's like 60 people. Yeah. Because there's a lot of casuals, there's a lot of part-time, there's a lot of full-time. No one is going to scroll through every single one to look at everyone's bio. Okay, so like, where are you going to rank? Asshole or not an asshole? Asshole. Okay, no, it's an asshole. unanimous asshole. Okay, next one. Sorry. This, I like the title yeah. of this one, but it's a bit long, so I'm just going to read the title. Am I the asshole so for agreeing to live 2k miles, 2,000 miles, away from my family, but now I want to move back? I'm going to say not an What did he move for? Uh, they moved... If it was on bad terms and something that... To experience a slower-paced family... life with their boyfriend. To experience a lower-paced life with their boyfriend. Yeah, but with the family vehemently against it, saying you'll regret this. Don't do it. Think about it. The family was a bit. So if annoyed. my family were telling, if my family were telling me advice that were actually a, like legit, and I ignored just to move with my boyfriend, uh, no, then I am the asshole. My Wait, parents gave me I'll, good I'll, advice I'll just, and I'll I ignored skim the story. it. I'll skim the story. So, um, I knew my parents could not visit because they they're waiting for their green card. Rip. rip. Um, so I now have two beautiful children, and we have a house. That's gonna have... take like seven years. Yep. Good luck. 2021, and I'm in the I'm the first in my family to be a homeowner. And my mum, wait, oh I know her. 
who's he? Anyway, let's ignore who he is. So we moved to the West Coast <laughs> because living there is cheaper. And I have two kids under two years old. I work night shifts and, and home alone. With all the the West Coast is cheap? Wherever the hell this person No is. way, right? No, West Coast not. is more it's expensive. Not. Right, because what's on the West Coast? Isn't California. that like San Francisco, California, LA, California? California. Washington. Washington, Oregon, California. But yeah, it does. Um, I thought the Diego. cheapest place was like Texas and like Florida, and I'm pretty sure that's like on the east. That is on the southeast, yes. I don't know, man. This sounds shady already. But go on. I mean, after all, US is a big place. That's it could I'm be gonna some... roll nine asshole. It's okay to get to 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 realize to make mistakes. Not an asshole. I'm not going to right. the rest of the story. Yeah, they can technically move wherever Jeez, they God. want. It's about their freedom, so. But they won't not... move back. They're not an asshole. Two majorities. No. Argentina's gonna be undecided, I guess. No, I'm just saying. If my parents gave me good advice and I ignored it just because I was I don't think in love with advice. someone. Anyway, next one. And I'd also just feel awkward at that point. Yeah. To bring my boyfriend to live in my parents' and house. Kids, that just feels weird. I know. I, I, I would happily do so. Uh, now, next one. I love this title. Am I the asshole for running out of a restaurant on a date? So I went on my first date with a guy. He got a bit too touchy-feely for my comfort. And he even told me he loved me. I have absolutely no idea how to confront him about this. So I just <laughs> ran away while I said, I'm going to go to the toilet. So I just Is there one way to confront a guy like that? Just call the cops. That's a creep. <laughs> okay, okay. If he did touch you, like, and it makes you really uncomfortable with stuff, I get what you mean. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call the cops though. I would just talk to the restaurant staff or something. I'll punch them. Jesus Christ. Arjun, this is a... Well, okay. Arjun, That's what I... I mean, if this is... Look. There's, just, there's a... Yeah, okay. I wanted to say this. If this really did happen... Whoever Stop this happened to would feel happened. justified. No, I'm just making... Okay, fine, I get it. I get it. Rule thinking it's real. Yeah. But I'm just saying, if this was real and this happened to someone, they would obviously feel justified that they're not an asshole. No, but they... Like, okay, Arjun, maybe they're they, overstating. What if the guy's just socially awkward? What if, he, what if he's just a socially awkward asshole like Monsieur? And they just ran out on him. How bad do you have to be? To, be to not no, to not touch someone. I feel like that's obvious. I don't know. I don't understand that, Arjun. Boundaries don't exist with me. <laughs> I'm gonna say now. And you want to study politics? <laughs> Economics and politics. Uh, I thought you were spending your extra year in politics. I can spend it on two things, you bastard. Um, Screw you. Uh, Look, I'm confused what this one is. Alright, next, next, next. Hey, hold on, you didn't pay that an asshole or not, you bastard. I'm gonna say not an asshole. <sighs> no, not an asshole. Work? Uh, I'm just gonna say no because I've just been browsing Reddit. Bang the gavel! Oh my god. I found something called Iron Sworn. Okay, before we talk about that. It's a free TTRPG. We'll do that. But you have to fill out these sheets. I'll do it. For I'll your it. character. I have a lot of creativity. Um, and I hope like make up his care that he doesn't come up with anything. No, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, are you, I'm just going to read the headline and a bit of the summary. Are you ready? Yeah. A mighty asshole for telling my daughter she's not Jewish. What? A mighty asshole for telling my daughter she's not Jewish. <laughs> Sh shouldn't people make up their own minds? <laughs> you have to question though, are they ethnically Jewish or are they culturally Jewish? Because anyone can be culturally Jewish. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, culturally, yeah. I was thinking of like, I was thinking of the like, you know, like, ethnically, right? Is that the right <laughs> word? No. Like, yeah, no, that's correct. Ethnically Jewish. Yeah. Like they came from like Israel. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, because that's two different things. Yeah. I'm yeah. converted to Jewish. Uh, what's it called? Judaism. What's the religion? Judaism. Yeah. Jewishism. That that's different. Like, I don't know. It's too without context. It's complicated. But in my head, it was like someone who's like, like Indian. Wait, well, hold up, and hold up. Someone was like, "You're not Jewish, man." Oh, this is this is the catalyst. The my grandmother, so my daughter's great grandmother, 
she passed away, and on her deathbed, she told her that we had no George ancestors. <laughs> oh, what was that? Didn't you? My grandmother, on her deathbed, told me that we have no Jewish ancestors. <laughs> so the girl thought she was eth- ethnically Jewish. But deathbed confession said that they're not actually, they don't have Jewish ancestors. <laughs> Why would you lie about that? I have no what idea. What are you <laughs> Why did she reveal like, it? Still incredibly Wait, why did she reveal it on her deathbed? Was God gonna punish her? For it's like they, it they, <laughs> they are still being like they are a minority. They don't yeah. have the you know. Yeah. I don't get the point. What's the point? Anyway, I'm so confused. Anyway, I'm gonna say honestly, like, is the best policy, not an asshole. <laughs> yeah. No, but I feel like that doesn't apply when you're dying, because that's like. It's leaving like the worst thing, but you know there's nothing they can do because you're dying. <laughs> Does it count? <laughs> I feel like that's the most messed up time to be honest. I I because they can't do anything time. with that knowledge but accept it. Well, you you I, I don't even get mad at someone then because they're dying. Well, the on hell? my deathbed, I'll I'll tell my child that your your grandfather is actually Mel Gibson. Then I die. <laughs> that's <laughs> uh, good luck with that. Um. Jesus Christ. Honestly, what has Mel Gibson done in the last 10 years? Go beard. Anyway, a lot of these are just people allegedly having a <laughs> That is true, okay. <laughs> all right. That's all he's done, though. He has a crazy beard. <laughs> it looks like a paintbrush. Well. What in the bloody hell is this thing? Wait. These are all just oh, yeah. people having fun with their friends Truth. and family. Truth, That's basically I all. I Am I an I asshole? Not an asshole because it's yeah, not an the asshole. Truth. Oh no, 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 hold up, hold up! You're not allowed to. Don't, we're not here to judge the truthness, though. That's not what we're here for. I know that. I accidentally said. I accidentally said the reason as the. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, even if it is true, that can't be the reason why not an asshole. Uh, I just like Arjun tried. Uh, next one. Am I? God damn! These these are starting. Okay, a lot of these are just people being. Like, why are the socially awkward encounters? These are just people with their friends and family having issues. That happens all the time. Am I the asshole for telling my friend I do not want to play video games with him when he's angry? My, me and my buddy, we play Apex sometimes, and he tends to get angry in hashtag rage. So fast forward to now, we were having a good time, then, he, then we hit dropped a few times, and he died in game. And he was getting very angry and upset. So I asked him, yeah. hey, you want to film Mr. Call Off? And he says, no, uh, let's continue. Hoping that our games would improve. It didn't, so he got even more upset. On our last match, I wasn't ready. I asked him, hey, you want a break? He said, no, I'm fine. So I reminded him, hey, I don't want to play with you when you're a bit angry and screaming. So he then say, okay. Then he left the game. Left the Twitch. Uh, le- left the Discord server. And then unfriended me on Discord. I tried to apologize. But then I deleted my message apologizing. I feel like I need to set a boundary. Screw that guy. Am I the asshole? Uh, I'm going to say no. I'm going to that's a ridiculously disproportionate re- response. So no. Mm. Yeah. What do you guys think? Alright, I'm back. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I didn't hear any of it. Let's try again. I don't My know headphones died, so I... I was trying to find my earphones. Should I just state? Yeah. My... Okay, so... Can you state a summary so... to help Arjun now? But okay, I so... heard most of it. It was like about sure. Fortnite and Discord yeah. and he sure. said that he's yeah, sure. his friend and something yep, like what's that. What's your reasoning? I don't think he's an asshole. Okay, now... If... If there was, if he's still having a good time playing anyway, despite the angriness from yeah. friend, but I would just continue. I wouldn't have done that. But now, yeah. from from the time this count has gone really angry at Bedwars, I, to me it's just funny. Oh, it's funny when I get angry at Bedwars as well. Yeah. <laughs> I start ranting. It's funny yeah. as well. I, I just silently. But, yep. But um. Yeah, the, the anger sort of went over the top. Yeah. Old, yeah, so OP, not really an where asshole. Will you, where will you land on the bog? And I'm going to go with the consensus. Okay. Because I was okay. Not, uh, not an asshole. Not an Damn. asshole. 
God damn it, the next one. But you know what? You yeah. know what headline I just came across on Reddit? What? It's from not the. <clears throat> it's from not the. Find me, sir. DC police find five fetuses in the home of an anti-abortion no, that one. activist. <laughs> I, 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 I won't comment. Look, we all have skeletons in the closet. Some of our skeletons have to be fetus <laughs> remains. Uh, have <laughs> their skeletons formed? Uh, there's, I mean, there may be one bone or two. Your baby bones. Uh, I won't comment. Hey, why can you go the question? Do fetuses have skeletons? Anyway, I think they do. Why else would you bury them? No, um... I'm not gonna this read was posted much... to Oslo. I'm not going to read much about the story, but... Am I the ass for asking my friend why is he texting my girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> so me and my friend went to watch Batman. Uh oh. Anyway, no. Uh, me and my friend went to watch the Batman. It was a good movie. So we checked our messages a few times. I look over him to offer him a gummy, and I notice he's texting my girlfriend. I ask him why, and he said, "Hey, you don't have to date her to be a ladies' man." And he was flirting with her allegedly. Mm. Am I the asshole? Uh, uh, does anyone want to give their thoughts first? I will. I'm gonna say, yeah, I think he's an asshole. I, I, I think, I think she, she, she's, it's, it's on her if she wants to accept the flirting. No. Uh. Yeah, I, I, I think he's an asshole. Arjun, what's that? I can disagree. Was it for? Did the OP get angry? Or did, he got what angry. did the OP do? He, he got annoyed. It's multiple times. For the scenario that's been listed, okay, I'll say his name. Yeah. Let's be honest. This guy has now just admitted to Reddit that he's a cock. Oh, there's nothing wrong with being a cock. Yeah, but do you think a Redditor would do that? No. I find that hard to believe. Anyway, I think he's an asshole. What do you think, Arjun? Do you get to split the vote? Oh, unless he's doing, like, this cool twist. He's waiting for a girl to tweet and message him through Reddit because of this sub story. In that case, he's a genius. I, I, I don't know. Then he's an asshole if he's a genius. Yeah, but still, a genius. You never said if he's an asshole or not, you monster. I said before anything. I said he's not an asshole in this scenario. Okay, so That's the like first you, thing I said. I've been outnumbered. You may roll not an asshole. Not an asshole. Even you mumbled that one. Um, yeah, I didn't hit exactly the middle of the. Yeah. Um, Did you know there's a suburb called Hell's Kitchen? Yeah. I had no idea. I thought there was only this show. I I I had no idea. I was looking at Mel Mel Gibson, and then I moved on to Sylvester Stallone, and Sylvester Stallone was born in Hell's Kitchen. What? <laughs> I did not know that. Sorry, I was distracted by this ne next headline. Are you guys ready? What is it? Am I the asshole for snitching on my grandmother? <laughs> I definitely need contact with that. <laughs> I kind of want to leave that as nothing, though. Um, Jesus Christ. Have, have, any, have you guys ever snitched on your grandmother? To do what? I have no idea. Wait, hold up. I'm confused. I'm anyway, let's read it. the story. So, Tinker, oh my goodness, a tree collapsed on my local ITA. No, teacher. So my grandma was a blanket car. person. She doesn't, you know, she's a frank-speaking grandmama. She, she, yeah. she, she, she hides nothing. No, sir. Um. So things got worse during the pandemic. I just, I have developed an eating disorder because she oh. always told me I'm fat. Oh, that, that's that's fat. that's good grandmama ring. Hmm. I don't know. I, my grandma has the politeness to say it in a different language. No, uh, <laughs> no comment. Uh, I don't even know what my grandma says half, like ninety percent of the time because language barriers. Raps. No, uh, I feel like it's a different time, different country. Anyway, so she she didn't understand how my mother could love me, how I never did anything for my parents, and why okay. I'm depressed. That's that. That's hmm. that. Now I want to so, know what what does you took, mean? You took it from like. For me, understanding the, them coming from a different period to all of a sudden to hate. Yeah. That isn't an age issue, that's just hate. Anyway, so I told my mum about this and she told me to always tell her whenever my grandmother does something wrong and also to voice record it next time it happens. 
So Voice I did, recorded? Yep, I did Why? exactly that without my grandmother's consent. And I yelled at my grandmother, telling her to um, not comment on my body or family because I hated it and I struggled. So my grandmother hugs me, telling me she loves me. Then my mom comes home from work. She asks if that's a, that's a very abusive thing to do, though. <laughs> To <laughs> tell so after you verbally abuse someone, tell them you love them. Um, yeah. After my mom came home from work, she asked me if anything happened. Well, because I, I look a bit upset, I showed her the audio. She got angry at my grandmother, and they argued. Ooh. And that's up to now. Am I the asshole? That uh, makes no sense. What? Like, I, why I would she? Asshole. Why? Yeah. I don't get the whole recording. Right, why did, needs did she need to be recorded? Mother needs evidence. She wants to hear what does the grandmother Yeah, says. but like, why did she... Be- then she should have said, I can't believe this without evidence. She said, I believe you, but record it. That doesn't make sense. No, but that's how she'd be a Like, you parent. either believe it Imagine, or not. If you tell your child, I won't believe you without evidence, that's not very supportive parenting, is it? Exactly. Exactly. So why would you believe them and say then, I because need you're evidence? you're a supportive that parent. You 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 are you are definitely. Why do you need the recording? Am I the only one who finds that weird? No, I uh, because I record so much of my life. No, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's weird. It's so, weird. It may be illegal. Maybe you need to consent of grandma. To also, that's not the state. issue. The issue is that it's weird to ask for a recording. It is yes, but yeah. I understand what the mother's going for. She she wants to hear it herself. I don't. Also, know. it could. By asking for a recording, that shows you need evidence. So that means that the daughter would be less inclined to lie about things yeah. in the future. Yeah, she also asked for evidence in a very tactful way. Not like, I don't believe you, give me evidence. That's bad parenting, I Martin. I, you are I a bad it, parent. Yeah. I find it, wow, now you're being hateful. Like the grand. <laughs> are you recording this, Arjun? Yes. Okay. <laughs> anyway, what, what do you think? An asshole, not an asshole. Arjun, wait, where no. did you land? Not an asshole, an asshole. I don't know, man. It's just such a weird story. I mean, yeah, she's different. not. She's not an asshole. It's just such a weird story. I she's don't get the whole mum. Like, why the mum needed to say not an asshole. Let's roll unanimously. Not an asshole. Not an asshole. I don't get it. <laughs> Next one. The, it's so weird. I, I don't know. I don't get it. I like that. Next story. Are we ready? Yep. Am I the asshole for not picking up a phone? I'm going to be honest, the guy is downselling what he did by using that title. Uh, oh. Definitely need contact. Okay. So I'm a, I'm a uni student. My mother lives around 10 minutes away from the campus. At the moment, she doesn't yeah. have a car, so I let her borrow my car, which is quite nice. However, I need it tonight yeah. so I can drive to work early in the morning tomorrow. Today, I've, sp- I've been studying, so I put my phone away so it wouldn't distract me. A few hours later, when I, like, when I was done, I saw my mother had tried to contact me. She texted me asking how to get to my dorm so she can pick me up and I could get my car back. Apparently she texted me, yeah. parked near the dorm, waited an hour. She texted me that she wasn't, she was going home and I could pay for a lift to her house. She never confirmed any time or place to come get me. I can't afford a lift and she knows this. Essentially, I'm unable to get my car back at the moment. I don't think I'm an asshole not picking up the phone. Am I the asshole? I'm going to say yes, screw you. Yeah, if you're asking someone to go out of their way to he, come He gave her the car and she gave it back responsibly, but he didn't pick it up. Was he, he sleeping? No, he was what studying. What does he expect her to stay outside the door? Even if I'm studying that. to a lot, yes, I'm still going to have my phone I'm studying it. My f- I can see notifications. Yeah. I answer quickly. I'm yes. guaranteeing you he wasn't studying. You see him. Yeah, he was, he, was, he, was, he was doing something. But he's an asshole. I, I think mean, he's an asshole. His mother did everything right. And she's like, oh, well, I'm yeah. home with a car since I can't walk home, you know. So <laughs> get a lift or something. Jesus Christ. The best thing to split the lift <laughs> with his mother, I guess, but... Jesus Christ, I'm gonna say an asshole. What do you guys think? Asshole. Hodgson? Yeah. Okay, what do you want to do? Alright, asshole. Ouch! Anyway. <laughs> the next one's good. Am I an asshole for calling my boss unprofessional? Of course, Nick. I'm in a cafe, the boss like, hired me on the spot because I have experience in reading. What are you calling this by heart? My recent. Cop. Just that I, I get the most fake ones. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh um, so I got the job on the spot, look at the boss, like my experience, and they say I can learn very quickly, so this job's convenient, I like it after a few shifts. I got a text message that, um, that my shifts were actually gonna be cut. So I asked them why, the boss Ooh. gave no reason. When I asked again, if I still- Oh, wait. What? I don't understand. So this person already worked some shift, but they still asked the boss, do I have the job? And mm. the boss said, no, we hired someone else. 
Okay. So I was I was fuming. Oh, I cried. Was there no notice? There, there was very little notice. Just by text message saying we're cutting your shifts. Um, I was upset. So I, so they they made me quit my job. They hyped me up for a promotion. Then they fired me over text message. This is like an unfair dismissal, but if they're casual, I don't think there's a lot of things they can do. Uh, and also, yeah. it might not be Australia. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of places have unfair dismissal law. Yeah, I don't trust the US, though. No, the issue is casual. Casual, I'm pretty sure that's why they get a higher rate of pay, Because right? their, their job is meant to be insecure, yeah. It's an unstable yeah. job. <laughs> yep, yeah, part of being a casual is, is balancing on the chair legs and not on the chair arms. <laughs> it's an unstable job. Yeah. Anyway, they send me a big text message which I won't read. I'm gonna say not an asshole. Next one. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Yeah. You, you guys have an opinion too. Yeah? No? Yeah. Not an asshole? Um. I mean, it is. I mean, how. Like, what? They're just casual, so would they have an email address? No. Casuals use no, so, so that's not so what's the most professional way apart from just the face to face telling you? Uh WhatsApp. <laughs> and we all know um, the problem about using WhatsApp. <laughs> yeah. I am having trouble. Yep, it's a dichotomy though. You have to choose asshole and unasshole. So no, for, for accusing the boss of being well, unprofessional. Like fifteen year olds, why are you call me Arjun? I've seen so many. I've seen so many posts by fifteen years. Know. Yeah. Oh. I'm gonna be honest. And mom probably told them that they can't spend time on Fortnite, and they made up a sob story. <laughs> we we're not meant to allege the truthfulness of these. Next one. Uh. So Arjun, you think they were an asshole or not an asshole? I wasn't paying attention. I was reading to Am I the asshole? Some brother. Jesus Christ. Anyway, let's let's just roll. Not an asshole for now. Yeah. For, yeah. Oh, I saw the banning this time from going to men's gym. Okay. Okay, new. Okay, sorry, we're right. going to do the outro now. Well, it's uh, so, oh, dun, 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 the music theme tune or whatever. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> hey, that was another one. This is what says Am I the Asshole. You can find Arjun over there. Hey, Arjun. You're going to say hey back? AITA. What the hell is What is AITA? Am I the Asshole. Oh, anyway, wow. Wow, we can find you over there. Oh, hey, wow. what? Hello. Hello. And you can find me up there. Hello. I'm going to add me in post. Oh, and then I'm guessing, okay. And, uh, W-I-B-K and is good idea. Right? This one. Yes. This is my unlisted form. Right, so ah!